what's up youtube welcome to the coffee pod anonymous she said drink the coffee it'll make you feel better i was forced into a stepdad position when i found out my oldest son wasn't mine no more wasting time let's get it you guys are talking what i'm realizing is that i too was kind of forced into a stepfather position mm -hmm. my eldest son mm -hmm. um when we found out he wasn't mine, we, his mom and I made a decision that we weren't going to tell him until he was older. Right. Because if you tell an uh, immature kid a mature situation, they're going to handle it immaturely. Absolutely. So uh, we found out he wasn't mine when he was, what, six, seven? Six. Six. But he ended up finding out when he was... Twelve. Twelve. So six years later, he ended up finding out. And we had both agreed that he was going to find out when he was... 18. Like 18, 19, after he had graduated high school, mm -hmm. after we got him across uh, the stage. But I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, it's crazy, man, because as soon as he found out I wasn't his biological, he retreated. Mm. And I found myself chasing, mm -hmm. trying to build, trying to create memories, trying to keep the... Uh, Inclusiveness yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that we had been working all this time for the same it just it just did not work out that way so it became something like what jay was talking wow. about there would be years that go by mm -hmm. uh of you know you reach out you reach out you reach out and there's no response after a while you just okay well let me give him the space so every time we would meet up it would be for you know family pictures or you know, there would be times like as he got older, before you know it, he's 18, 19 years old. And our times of interaction was far in between because I still had his brothers and sister that I had to raise as well. So uh, but when we did sit down and talk, oh, well, my mom was saying this and it was it was always a reason or a justification on why there was such a disconnect mm. and I couldn't force myself on it. So to hmm. protect my sanity mm -hmm. because it's like all I've known, this is Anthony Adams Jr. Right. right. You feel what I'm saying? You got my name. Right. You carry my name, say. It, it was torture for me and it took me to a place where I was like not present mm -hmm. for mm. the other ones. And I had to catch that quick mm. and make the adjustment. But I, I was put or forced into a step parent. Step parent. That's, that's a very interesting perspective. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think I've ever. I've never All right, guys. So this clip that I stumbled on is sparking some interesting conversations. So he basically described finding out that his oldest son was not his. And for six years, he did not know that and found out at six years old. So that leads me to believe that she probably knew but wasn't honest right and they decided not to tell him and here's what i want to do about this i'm curious how would you guys play this out if you were this gentleman in your situation because first of all the first tough thing is do you stay i doubt that most men really can power through something like that but maybe i may be wrong because when you look at the data that comes from these places that do these paternity tests you find out that one third of them come back negative and the question is how many of those guys actually stay? Maybe a lot, maybe a lot. So once you figured out that, then comes the question of when do you let your child know and what's best for that child? So again, first things first, I think most guys would be like, man, I'm out of there. I don't know how I would, personally, I, I don't think I would be able to stick around. And that's just like, I'm pretty 100% sure. Child isn't mine and it's our first child. I think it was her first child. Let me let me make sure here. Okay, so yeah, it's his eldest son. So if it's your eldest son, you really don't have to stay because it's not your kid and you don't have any kids. Maybe they had, maybe there was an um, elder daughter. I don't know, man, real interesting situation. But if it is the first child, you don't have any children together. I could see why most men might look at the situation and be like, I'm out of here. But then again, we talk about how children work best in two parent households. And this man was very selfless in his act, very of staying there and forgiveness. And I bet those children benefited from having a man in their house, which 
is great for kids and and hopefully they appreciate that as always we're gonna check out some of these comments see what the people have to say first comment here says you should have told him immediately now i don't know if this comment is directed towards the wife or the husband and wife basically saying you guys should have told the son immediately that he wasn't his son biologically another comment here from another gentleman says how is he so calm about this with her i found out my dad wasn't my real dad at 30 years old this guy says and i don't think i will ever respect my mother again mm. 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 yeah somebody else responded back to him and said this is yours after the fact and they have other children together how he found out matters as well now, i'm curious to know how he how did he find out in the end if people can live peacefully together and and deal with problems that are this deep then good for good for them right but in most cases here's a guy who found out that he was lied to for the majority of his life and from this example i'm leaning towards the way to go is just to be honest from the very beginning now the comment here says he's an emotional mature adult another woman here chimed in and said still knowing the child wasn't his and loved him the same as telling on how he felt about the child regardless of being his biological son yeah selfless act on his part another comment here from another man says are the other children yours and it looks like the actual guy responded back this is the actual um father he says yes sir and another person chimed in he wanted to make sure right chimed into this thread and says did you test all your kids and he says yes sir <laughs> Next here, another person added and said, I have so many questions, dot, dot, dot. Next comment says, been there, done that, and carried that emotional baggage for years, trying to build a relationship, did more harm to myself. This person says, this happened to a friend of mine. He found out his oldest child, daughter, in parentheses, in the marriage was not his. Sad, he says. Another comment here says, this gives me Will and Jada red table vibes. And our final comment says, but they lied to him his whole life. So sad for the child. But guys, of course, I want to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. As always, I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.